Owning a hair company can be so annoying sometimes. You might even want to give up. But here's why. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Amani Jelena, the owner of Allure 96 Hair and Lash and also the brand. So disrespectful. And also the brand owner of ImaniJelena.co, which is a mentor service. So if you're interested in any ebooks, webinars, workbooks, or anything that can help you regarding your entrepreneurship journey, any digital downloads or anything like that, head over to ImaniJelena.co and check out the website. But I'm sure you clicked on this video because I'm here to spill the tea. I'm here to tell you guys the unknown or the, the unspoken, shall I say. So I have some notes in my phone. And basically this video is just going to be the ugly truth behind owning a hair company or a beauty company anything like that me as you guys know i have a hair company if you guys are interested in any of my units check out allure96.com but as you guys know i own a hair company so i'm specifically going to stick to what i know in my niche so some ugly truths you guys need to know about owning a hair company we're starting up with number one and number one is going to be nasty customers unfortunately i know with any type of business that you own you're going to deal with nasty customers but for some reason owning a hair company you get some nasty freaking customers now when i say nasty customers i mean customers who are just not patient customers who don't understand customers who don't read the fine print or the policies or anything like that and get mad at you being the business owner or someone in your team or someone within your communications team that deals with customers hands on about stuff that about rules about policies that that are literally put in their face when they're placing these orders so that's the first thing you definitely deal with nasty customers so you have to kind of learn how to satisfy them one but deal with them without losing your temper that's number one the second one is going to be crazy expenses now when i wrote crazy expenses that is for everything for one it's expensive ordering inventory and things like that but it also gets super expensive by up upholding yourself because when you own any anything in, in my opinion in the beauty industry you have to look the part if you own a hair company your hair needs to be laid if you do nails your nails need to be laid at all times if you have a skincare line your skin needs to look flawless at all times just because you are a walking billboard for your brand and for your products so with that being said it does get expensive to kind of like uphold everything for one upholding it for yourself and then also making sure aesthetically your brand looks pleasing so that others would want to spend money with you because ultimately if your brand doesn't look good you don't look good why would anyone want to purchase anything from you and you have to ask yourself would you order hair from someone whose hair looks like garbage probably not or would you get your nails done by someone who whose nails look like trash probably not or would you order skincare from someone who didn't have nice skin probably not so it's literally like you have to be the example for your for your business in order to get customers so it does get a little expensive upholding everything the next thing and this is this is on a serious note is that people don't take you serious being in the i'm gonna say hair industry so when some people ask me especially people who have no idea about the beauty industry and things like that and they ask me oh so what type of business do you have oh i have a hair company a lot of people don't take that as serious just because i feel like a lot, there's so many hair companies out there there's so many people who just like randomly start hair companies things like that so you have to be super on top of things and let people know like this is my company this is what my company stands for this is my mission statement you have to hold your business to a certain professionalism so that other people can take you serious. That's something that I definitely struggled with because I felt like in the beginning people were like, oh, she just has a hair company. Oh, she just sells hair. No. Uh -uh. So now when people ask me, oh, what type of business do you own? I always say, well, I own a beauty business that caters to hair extensions. Just because that sounds a little more professional than just saying, oh, I have a hair company. Oh, so um, ultimately your, your business is going to be what you make it. For me, that's something that in the beginning I struggled with a lot just because people, in my opinion, didn't take me serious. 
uh, owning a hair company but of course now it's definitely different because this is my full-time job this is how I make a living all that good stuff but that that was that was one of my ugly truths because I didn't appreciate that okay the next ugly truth about owning a hair company is the competition and always feeling the urge to basically one up the next company now when I say that base I mean for one it's in the hair industry it's always competition just because there's so many hair companies out there so you want people to order from you so you're going to push your company harder you're going to always you know say you you have the best product and things like that because for one if you if you do have the best product you better stand on that because a lot of companies <laughs> don't and also when i say the urge to always one up the next company is because once you once your company gets to a certain point where people when your hair is in in demand and people are like emailing you about your hair and want to know specifics regarding your hair qualities and densities and things like that imagine getting an email and it's like hey my name is blah 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 and I'm interested in your uh, full lace wigs and I just wanted to know is your hair thick because such and such's hair is really thick and I really like their hair so, and, and that's what I mean by always feeling feeling the need to kind of or the urge to always like one up the next company because then if someone sends you an email like that you're gonna be like oh well my hair company has this and my hair company can provide this so it's, it's literally like you're persuading people to order from you and also giving putting pushing your company to the top as far as um, pushing your company to the top while also unfortunately like pushing someone else's company to the bottom. So that's what I mean when I say like competition and urges to uh, outdo the next company. I don't feel like it's on purpose, but I do feel like it just kind of like comes natural with you, of course, like trying to like, you know, let your customers know like, you know what, my company is actually super good too and my company can provide this as well too. So it's kind of, it's like you have to kind of learn how to word things to also make it seem like you're not just being like super pushy and also being rude. And someone's at my door. So hold on. Okay. And I'm back. The very last thing about um, the ugly truth behind owning a hair company is trends. You have to make sure you're on top of your trends. You have to, and when I say trends regarding like a hair company, I basically mean you have to make sure you have the best products. You have to make sure that, you know, if, if new lace is coming out, you have to make sure you do your research. You have to make sure you try it. You have to make sure that's a, a new lace that you want to bring to your company. If you guys don't know, know there's all different type of lace out there. There's transparent lace, Swiss lace, HD lace like every season it's like a new lace is being thrown out there so that, that's what I mean as far as like being on top of things and if you're not on top of things you're gonna lose customers because everyone wants the new new okay everyone wants to look to look a specific way in a certain way in my opinion it seems like so you have to make sure you're on top of things you have to make sure you're staying current with the trends and all that good stuff but that's all I have for you guys. If you guys are interested in any of my Allure 96 hair, you know, I'm rocking now. It's custom colored, beautiful. Um, you can always check out Allure96.com and grab you some bundles. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to thumbs up this video. And also don't forget to subscribe in case you want to hear any of my tips, tricks, and also updates on anything. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.